Hello Capricorn, welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Paul. If Capricorn is your sun, moon, or rising sign, this is your tarot card reading. Remember to hit the like button, leave a comment, consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. If there is anything you would like me to pray over or meditate upon or send positive energy toward, please let me know. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember, Capricorn, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And wow, a ten of pentacles to start us off. This is, this is really good. Um, this is showing me that your, your long-term goal that you've been working toward is, is happening right now, right? Um, that you, you're kind of approaching the finish line for something. Things are almost perfect. Let's see what else is going on. Let's put this into some context here. Oh, we've got the knight of, interesting. We've got the knight of pentacles. That's one of your that's one of your power cards. We got to ring the bell. This is the uh, cardinal earth energy. It's fire of earth, just as you, Capricorn, are the cardinal earth sign. So then we've got <coughs> we've got some cardinal air. We've got a ten of swords, five of swords, and we've got more earth energy. A lot of earth energy here. A lot of air here, but then earth this way. This is interesting. And we've got some fire, some more earth. Ooh, the universe card. And we've got your cancer um, kind of alter ego there. Uh, this is the Knight of Cups. Another card, a lot of cardinal energy, right? Cardinal Earth, cardinal air, cardinal water. Um, very, very good. I think the air energy back here is uh, in some ways representing all the obstacles that you've overcome. I think there was a lot of, um, probably a lot of people that told you that you couldn't do it, right? Or a lot of things that a lot of things that happen that kind of made you start telling that to yourself, like, I can't, I'm not, I can't do this. There's no way I can do it, right? But here you are, just about to cross this finish line. Let's select the mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. This is a random card from the Smith Way Tarot. This is a factor infinite and unknown. And we're just going to put it right here. We're going to put Tiny Bob Ross right on top. Now, we're not going to look at that card until the very end, but it will tie everything together and it will give us the confirmation that we need. All right. So let's look around the room. Uh, as far as major arcana go, the only one we have is the universe card. And that's kind of, that's the in the position of the difficulty too, which is interesting. Because I think what's going on here, especially when we take this earth energy into account, this is you figuring out the next chapter. This is saying you're guaranteed to reach this jackpot. You know, this success, this finish line, yes, you, you're practically there now, right? But what's next, right? Um, we know that every finish line is a starting line. So when we get a 10 of pentacles, we think, oh, we've made it. And then we think, ah, oh, it's just starting, you know, because it's the next chapter. It's the next phase of things. So the knight of pentacles is the one that has the vision of the future. We try to look into the distance and see, okay, where do I want to be a year from now, right? Uh, or 10 years or a month or a day. It doesn't matter. Future tense though, right? So we're getting this 10 of pentacles now. What is the next chapter? Where do you want to take this big win, this jackpot? How do you want it to develop? Okay. Where do you see yourself in another year or six months or whatever? Right. That's the work. That's the challenge for you right now, especially with the universe card, because I feel like you don't really know. I feel like there's so many possibilities. It just seems like vast, empty space. How do you even begin to figure out which which direction to take your life? Um, you know, uh, when there's so many possibilities, it seems endless. It's kind of a daunting task, right? I think you will figure it out. I think that the Knight of Cups is the key to figuring out because the Knight of Cups is the giving away of your gift, right? So it's kind of like you're, you're 
achieving your purpose, you're fulfilling your purpose, you're, you're finding this big win, this jackpot, this success, right? And now it's, it's your, your job and your duty or your will to share with others, to, to make connections. And I'm not talking about giving your money away. That's not what I mean. I'm talking about sharing of your life with someone, sharing of your energy, right? Just focusing on making connections with other people. I think that's going to be the key to what you do next. Okay. And maybe it's even very, maybe it is quite black and white. Maybe this was a very, uh, very, um, material oriented goal. Maybe this was career. Maybe this was your work life, you know, and then we have the inclusion of some water energy that says, well, maybe now it's time for that family. Maybe now it's time for the personal life. Maybe now it's time for you to, um, you know, to find what's meaningful to you and share it with others, make meaningful connections with other people. Right. I think that's a big part of it. So, um, you know, when we do have three, four court card, five court cards. Yeah, that's a lot. We got five court cards here. So I think that's another, another clue that it involves becoming part of a group. It, it involves finding your tribe, finding your community, finding your people, you know, and it probably is that this accomplishment that you're, uh, experiencing now, is just naturally flowing into that sense of connection and community and things. But I feel like that's what the next chapter is going to be focused on. All right. That's very, very good. I like it a lot. Uh, so we've got uh, the one major arcana. We do have a little bit of fire. And uh, the fire that we have here is kind of, you um, know, if we think about it as your general energy, we think about it as the next chapter of your life that's beginning now. Um, this is a lot of, uh, a lot of excitement. This is a lot of enthusiasm. This is kind of saying, I have so many opportunities. It's not so much now seeing the universe as, um, as vast and empty, right? Cold and lonely. No, now we see, now we're excited to get out. Now we're excited by the possibilities, right? So we could kind of look at things in a, in a couple of different ways. And I think that goes back to some of this air energy that's always kind of been with you. You've always been someone, I think, very sensitive to, um, to kind of the, very sensitive to what other people might, might say or think, right? And I don't mean that in a bad way. I just, I mean that you're very, you can read people very well, right? And sometimes that's not so much a gift, you know, because I think you always kind of know what people are thinking uh, or feeling. And uh, sometimes that's an overwhelming energy, right? Uh, especially with the 10 of source because I feel like you've during this last chapter of your life I feel like you've you've had to end a lot of things yeah maybe that involved transitioning out of a certain job or school or relationship or family or or living situation whatever it might be I feel like you you had to um, you you had to end things in, in different ways right but the one thing that you never ended was this commitment to yourself this commitment to your your ultimate goals right? To the kind of life that you wanted, because see the 10 of pentacles, this is the picture of your best life. And so this, we never fully attain this, right? We just, we keep working toward it. Chapter after chapter, we just keep progressing in this manner. So I think that you've always had this intense focus on where you wanted your life to go, even if it meant that you had to, um, you know, end things with other people. Um, and that might not have been the best the best feeling, right? Um, <clears throat> I also feel in conjunction with the five of swords that there, there were a lot of people that tried to kind of interfere with your plans here. And maybe that's part of why we had to let them go, right? Because they had ideas of their own and they were trying to get you to do different things, or they asked you to make sacrifices that you weren't really wanting to make, right? Now, someone in your life has, is, is having some breathing issues right now. Right? I don't know if someone's on oxygen or if you have an elderly family member, but I feel like they've been having breathing problems lately. Um, and I don't know why these details uh, come in sometimes in that kind of random way. But if that detail is meant for you, uh, spirit intends it as a, um, as a confirmation, as a validation of the energy that we're in. Okay. Um, I think that you are, like I said, strongly intuitive. Um, and maybe this, whoever this family member is that has the breathing thing, I think maybe there's a, there was a close relationship with them that they were kind of, um, almost like a mentor or like a, almost, 
an idol for you, I think, right? Because it feels like they, um, they had to endure a lot of opposition in their life and they kind of taught you to like, not, don't, don't worry about what other people say, right? Uh, they kind of have that, that vibe to me, that they, they kind of taught that to you, um, just to kind of ignore the haters uh, and the naysayers, right? Um, with the Five of Swords, I feel like you've, you've tried to live your life that way, but it's nevertheless, um, we all are affected or moved in some way by, by opposition, especially when I feel that there were people close to you that were trying to tell you, no, that's not the right path for you, or, or why don't we do something different, or, you know. Um, trying to discourage you, right? Trying to discourage you. Uh, but with the, with the Knight of, of Swords underneath the surface here, I feel like you've learned how to deal with those kinds of people. And I, so now I kind of feel that there's a zero tolerance, that you're just, you're very quick to, um, you have a very, um, a very quick uh, and decisive way about you. If somebody is um, slowing you down or distracting you or they are not good for you in some way, real quick, you can cut things off really quick, right? Uh, and that's, that's kind of a quality of the, the Knight of Swords here. The ability to just be very, um, very blunt and just not even blunt really, it's just very decisive. You know, there's no, there's no gray area. It's just, nope, you're, you're, we're done, right? It's just very quick. And I think that it's really, um, I think it's, it's helping you in a, in a lot of ways to, to remain with a clear vision of what you want in the future. Because when we go forward here, we've got the Knight of Pentacles. This is air and earth. So we're taking all of this air energy, which is sometimes was self-doubt, sometimes was confusion, sometimes was, was other entanglements, other drama with other people. Now we're focused on our goals. We're focused on this straightforward movement and um, this is the builder. This is the, that part of us that knows what we're doing and why, and now it's just a matter of doing it. So it's kind of like, you know what this next chapter is going to be, and, um, and we're ready to start working toward it. Yeah. And I really, I like that we moved directly from that to this fire energy. Now this really, real excitement because we're, we're finding, um, it's, I don't know, it's kind of like you, you get to a new city and you could just feel the electricity in the air and you just say, I know this is going to be my town. You know, I know uh, that my people are here. I can just feel it and nothing's happened yet. Um, but we just know that this is the right place for me. And I feel like that's really the six of pentacles in the position of the environment. You can feel that this is just where you are right now is exactly where you're supposed to be. It's not the cold vastness of space. This is this is your town, right? This is where your people are. The Six of Pentacles very often talks about um, a sense of community, a sense of harmony and resonance with other people, right? Finding our, our people. And this is in the position of the environment too. So I think that's twice as perfect because I think it does say that um, where this Knight of Pentacles is, where you are standing right now as you think about the next year or whatever of your life, I think you're realizing that where you are right now is exactly where you need to be, that this is where you are going to find your people. Now, I don't know if this is geographically the place. Um, I don't know exactly what you're, what you're doing or what your work is, but I, I do know that um, the next phase, this next chapter is, this is going to be the best chapter because this is the one where you really find those connections with life those connections with other people. We have that Knight of Cups here at the end, which is basically just taking our essence, taking our, our heart and presenting it to the world, you know, and finding um, those, those connections, those bonds with people um, where it is, a, it's a two-way street, right? It's reciprocating. This is the card that is all about the giving and receiving of love and affection. All right. And so it doesn't have to be in a romantic way. It could be, we could be talking spiritually, artistically, or whatever, um, you know, platonically even. But this is, um, this is that kind of, that kind of life, you know. And I think this is really, really good. I'm curious about the mystery card. Uh, I think we should look at that now. I'm, I apologize that this reading's a little bit short, but um, I'm still recovering from a pretty bad flu, as you can probably tell. So uh, I need to cut these a little bit short for today anyway. 
But for the mystery card here, I'd love to see some more water, right? Because we, we finally get some water at the end. So it's all this kind of um, overcoming the naysayers, getting down to business, um, and then we, we, we bring that water energy in at the very end. I'd like to see that expand and unfold a little bit more. I'd like to see a nine or a ten of cups, right? Wouldn't you? Let's see what we have. No, we see an eight of pentacles. We see more work. Um, but I think this is okay because I feel like this is... Um, it's reminding us that it's not, it doesn't have to be black and white, that it's not, you know, you did your career over here, now it's time for you to do a family, you know, or, or whatever it is. I think that this is really, um, this is a way that we're building a life slowly and steadily that is a holistic life. It is a wholesome life, right? So it is, it's satisfying every part of our being. We've got fire, we've got water, we've got air, and we've got earth, and we've got spirit. Right? So this is a life that really includes everything. This, and that's why I think this is the best chapter. Right? This, this, the, the next one here, this is the best one that you're moving into now. Because this is the one where all of these separate elements come together. And it's in that, it's you know, like you found your city. Right? And this is, where, this is where you live. This is your life. And this is, I think, um, I think it's really promising, and I like this one very much. We're going to do an extended reading, too, if you want to stick around. There's a link up top. There's one down below. New readings for Capricorn, usually every Thursday and Sunday. I'm trying to get back on schedule, okay? If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It is totally free. does not cost you anything. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know where in the world you're watching from. I want you to know that you're the most important part of Dove and Serpent Tarot. I thank you, and I love you. And we're all in this together.